Cut the cake, cut the cake, cut the cake, cut the cake. Get a chainsaw. <laughs> Come on, we got a funeral to go to. Go for it. Hey! It's a hatchet job. It's a hatchet job. That's a nice, uh, nice slice there, actually. Yeah, that's it. Done well, then. It's small. <laughs> small. Do you know this woman? Huh? Do you know this young woman? Yeah. <laughs> this is a good thing. <laughs> Lovely. Don't get to her, you know? Can I just have your attention for a minute? Um, I've been asked to say a few words before the cake is officially cut. Now, the trouble is, everything's already been said. Well, that's good for me. Only thing to say is, well, hello, Kate. Do you mind just cutting you up? <laughs> so that's that bit done. But seriously, the only thing I'd like to add is, Jack was talking about Louise's education. And I can remember when Mark was 11. And I said to him one day, well, what do you want to do when you leave school? He said, I want to go to university. And this is an astounding reply from an 11-year-old. And he said, I said, well, why do you want to go to university? He said, Dad, I just want to learn. Now, that's a true story, and that stood that young man in good stead ever since. And I'm very, very proud of Mark, my son, and now Louise, my daughter-in-law. And I'd just like to finish off before we have a toast. And I uh, wrote a little bit down here. And basically, it's just to God bless you both. And may your joys and hopes be realised, and your growing love together, you may enjoy a long and happy life, married life together. And I can say truly, I think you're well, well suited, both of you. So, could we just lift our glasses once more for the bride and groom, and then I'll watch Mark make a hash of <laughs> The bride and groom. Here, here. <laughs> hey, lad, you didn't break my camera either. No, I didn't. I should follow you there.